Hello, I'm Dr. Arpita Kamanapalli and I'm glad you're watching this video. In this video, I would like to talk about vitamin D. Vitamin D is a fat-soluble vitamin that is present only in small amounts in certain foods and it is made in our bodies only when our skin is exposed to the sun. It's considered as an essential nutrient because the human body cannot make it on its own without the assistance of food and sunlight. Research indicates that this so-called sunshine vitamin impacts not only your bones and skeletal structure but also immune function, blood pressure, mood, brain function and your body's overall ability to protect against a range of illnesses. There's compelling evidence to suggest optimizing your vitamin D level can reduce the risk of COVID-19 and other viral infections. Vitamin D deficiency symptoms include fatigue, bone loss or bone fractures, susceptibility to infectious diseases, higher risk for cardiovascular diseases that is heart diseases and high blood pressure, higher risk for certain types of cancer, depression, insomnia or sleeplessness, arthritis, higher risk for diabetes, asthma, chronic pain, skin issues such as psoriasis, uh, developmental delays we see in infants and children. Causes of vitamin D deficiency include lack of sunlight exposure, frequent use of sunscreen which reduces your body's ability to make vitamin D, any underlying health conditions like obesity, type 2 diabetes, insulin resistance and hypertension. Also the risk is more in people who have darker skin, being over the age of 70 and certain occupations that limit outdoor time, celiac disease and breastfed infants who are also risk of vitamin D deficiency which is why supplementing is recommended. Vitamin D supports immune system. Exposure to UV light causes changes inside the human body, including an increase in vitamin D levels. Our immune cells contain receptors for vitamin D and it's been shown vitamin D benefits overall immune function in several ways. This includes by preventing prolonged or excessive inflammatory responses. Emerging research shows that this vitamin helps with healthy cell replication and may play a role in protecting against the development of autoimmune conditions, infections, viruses and less serious illnesses like common colds and the flu. There is also evidence that humans need enough vitamin D in order for macrophages or white blood cells that attack pathogens to do their job properly. Vitamin D benefits seem capable of helping to strengthen the immune system by decreasing the ability of some virus to replicate and grow. It's been shown to enhance the expression of an enzyme called ACE2. This is believed to have the ability to protect against acute lung injury. A study conducted recently in 2020 found that higher vitamin D levels among older adults were associated with reduced rates of deadly infections, while low serum concentration of vitamin D were linked to higher susceptibility to infections. So to improve your immune function and lower your risk of viral infection, you will want to raise your vitamin D level, which should be between 60 nanograms per milliliter to 80 nanograms per milliliter. So how to increase this vitamin D levels? Certain foods such as fish, eggs and dairy products provide some vitamin D. But exposure to sunlight is still the best way to maintain a normal status of vitamin D level. A general recommendation is to get about 10 to 15 minutes of direct sunlight daily without wearing sunscreen if you are fade to medium tone. If you have dark skin, you likely need more time in the sun to make enough vitamin D. That's about 40 minutes daily. Taking a vitamin D supplement can also be helpful. Here are a few steps to optimize your vitamin D levels. First, you need to find out your base vitamin D level, which is done using a simple blood test. Once you know that, you can assess the dose needed to maintain or improve your levels. Again, the ideal level you are looking for is above 40 nanograms per ml and ideally between 60 to 80 nanograms per ml. Depending on your situation, you may need to use an oral vitamin D3 supplement. The required dose can vary greatly depending on several factors including skin color, weight and other nutritional deficiencies. Next, you will need to remeasure your vitamin D levels in 3 to 6 months to evaluate how your sun exposure or supplement dose is working for you. It is also important to check your nutrient levels at regular intervals because lifestyle changes may create a need for dosing adjustments. 
So I hope this information was helpful. So please share this information with your friends, family and community at large so that we can minimize a second outbreak and could help save so many lives. Here is a scripture to meditate on. May the Lord give strength to his people. May the Lord bless his people with peace. Psalm 29:11. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again in my next video.